Hello and welcome to the Kamla Show, where we bring you interviews and conversations with technologists, entrepreneurs, filmmakers, and other news from in and around the San Francisco Bay Area. My guests today are directors Joshua Kriegman and Elise Steinberg. I caught up with them at the 59th San Francisco International Film Festival, where their documentary Wiener was screened. Wiener is Anthony Wiener, the former New York congressman who ran for the mayor of New York in 2013. The documentary chronicles Wiener's political career and focuses on his 2013 campaign for mayor of New York and what happened there. The film also features Huma Abedin, who is Wiener's wife, and she is a long-time advisor to Hillary Clinton. Here are Joshua Kriegman and Elise Steinberg. Why now? Why a film on Wiener now? This is a two or three year old film. So I met Anthony working for him when I was working in politics. I was his chief of staff for a couple of years when he was in Congress. Um, and then I left politics and started working in filmmaking with Elise. And um, when he, as many people know, Anthony Wiener was a New York congressman who got caught up in the sexing scandal and resigned. Um, and after he resigned, uh, he and I started talking about the possibility of making a documentary about him and telling his story. Um, and then when he decided to run for mayor in 2013, he agreed to let us film uh, the race for mayor. And so we started filming on the day he announced he was running all the way through Election Day. Um, so that was the, the genesis of, of the filming. It's, you know, we knew that it was going to be when we when we started filming, we knew he was, you know, I knew him, had known him pretty well. I knew he was very dynamic and exciting and, and multifaceted character. Uh, he was setting off in this effort to get back into politics after a really disgraceful uh, sexting scandal. Um, and it was a mayor's race. And so we didn't know how it was going to unfold, but we knew that uh, we wanted to be there uh, to document it. So Elise, you are the one who is the filmmaker in a sense, because he was a political consultant. Well, Josh had been, we had been working for about five years, been working for many years, um, doing documentaries for PBS and A&E. Um, but but prior to this film, Josh and I had been working together on uh, as a directing team on various nonfiction film and television projects. We did a film um, for PBS about Texas prisons. But um, in terms of my experience, um, you know, I was really excited about doing a character-driven verite documentary. And that was a passion that Josh and I uh, shared. And Anthony's story was exciting in that way. Um, and the perspective that I brought to this film was that was much like the audience. I didn't know Anthony prior to working on this film. All I knew was what I had read in the headlines. But what I discovered by meeting Anthony and talking with him is that he's a much more complex, nuanced person that can't be summed up in the sound bites and tweets, and that my preconceived notions of him just did not match the reality of who he was. Again, the question is, why are you releasing the film this year? It's election year. So why this year? Because his wife... Huma is also in the film, and you see how she uh, gives him counsel and helps him. We didn't uh, time it for that in that way. We've just been making the film since we started filming. It's taken us almost three years uh, to get to this point, but it was it was basically a, a two year process of just making the film, getting it done. Um, we you know applied to Sundance when when we were ready, and uh, thankfully got in, which was very exciting for us. Um, but, you know, it's an interesting question about the timing. We, we really are excited for this film to be a part of the political conversation that's going on today in terms of the presidential race. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's actually less so in terms of, of Hillary, who doesn't actually appear in the film other than in some news clips, and, and more so in terms of, uh, of, no, really in terms of Trump, actually, really what, what's going on um, in a broader sense in our political system. So we have now, as we can see with Trump, we have a political conversation that is driven almost entirely by spectacle, right? By this sort of uh, sensationalism and entertainment and this impulse to, um, to, to see things through that lens. Um, and, you know, Anthony Weiner and Donald Trump are very different in, in many ways, completely different sides of the political aisle. But, um, but they both, I think, recognize that there is... Uh, that to, to be a, a, a player in the political conversation today, in some ways you have to figure out how to put on a show. Um, and, you know, our film really gives a front row seat to how much our politics today really is driven by, by spectacle. Anthony Weiner wanted 
to talk about a lot of other things other than his scandal, but he wasn't able to in the course of the New York City mayor's race in 2013. Um, and it's it's interesting to, to see that unfold in the context of his race and to see sort of how that relates to the politics that we see unfolding today. This was uh, 2013 and you stopped filming after he lost the elections, right? Josh began filming uh, when Anthony began his race in 2013 in the beginning. And then uh, at the end, the end of the election. Um, and then we did one interview six months after. But that contained all the filming, and we had about 400 hours of footage. So we were editing for about a year and looking through the material, crafting this story. And as Josh said, we didn't know when the film would be released or what festival we'd get into. And we're very excited. The film is coming out uh, May 20th. And we do feel that the film is very relevant and very timely to our current presidential race. 400 hours, and all we got to see was 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. So how much of it is left behind that has his wife, Homa, giving him counseling? Because there's a very um, telling moment in the film where she tells one of the team members that, you know, you're going out, people are going to be looking at you, so compose yourself. Uh, were there other uh, incidents like that that got left behind? What you see in the film is what we captured. We decided to choose the best moments to tell our story, and what you see of Huma is what we what we had of her. And I think, um, you know, one of the things that we're really excited about is that just as Anthony was reduced to a punchline and a character, so is she. But in our film, you get to see a more complete and full p picture of her, a different side of her. And, you know, her husband was running for mayor and she was supporting him. Um, and you see that in the film, her supporting him. But you also see that she's a very busy woman. She has a very important job working for Secretary Clinton and she's a wife and a mother. So you get to see her as a, a, a more complete per uh, person. And that's one of the things we're very excited about with the film to show that. Yeah. So who shot the scene where we know is uh, sitting in the studio and talking to Lawrence O'Donnell, who tells him, what's wrong with you? And he basically uh, kind of tries to, uh, I don't know if needle is the right word, needle him, but he's basically trying to figure out why Weena is doing what he's doing. Uh, who, was, who was the one that shot that? Uh, that? That was me. So, yeah, it was... Uh it's a it's a funny scene because I you know I walked into the NBC studios with my camera, not sure if they would allow me to 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 walk in, and they did, and and um, so we were able to 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 film that, uh, and it's one of our favorite scenes. I mean, it's it's it 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 plays very directly with something that we were excited to explore, which was this idea of taking the public story, the one that we see play out on the news and the headlines, and, and looking behind the headlines um, to what's really happening. And in this case, you get to see you know, the split screen, screen with Lawrence O'Donnell and Anthony Weiner shouting at each other and shouting over each other largely. And then you cut to the side angle, and, you, and, you, and it's startling to see, oh, he's just alone in a room kind of shouting at the empty air here. Um, and that really does highlight um, a quality to the film that we were excited to explore. The opening, uh, <laughs> the opening scene was very interesting because you have Wiener himself saying, this is the worst, this is the worst, doing a documentary about my scandal. Um, was that an aftertake, an outtake? What was it? Was it? When did you shoot that? Was it at the start or was it when you had finished everything and saying, okay, we're going to do this documentary? Yeah, so that was, that was part of a, a, a sit-down interview that we did with him uh, a number of months after the end of the campaign. Um, so we, uh, in, as Elise said, in addition to the footage that we shot throughout the campaign, uh, we really just shot this this one interview with Anthony a few months later. So have uh, they seen the film, uh, uh, Wiener and Huma? Have they seen the film? They actually have not seen it yet. Um, we offered to show the film to Anthony uh, a number of times many months ago, even before we were entirely finished with it, uh, and he didn't want to see it. Um, and he hasn't wanted to see it, even though uh, he knows it's an open invitation and he's welcome to see it at any time. So why are there reports in the media saying that Wiener and his wife have asked you both that they want to see the film and yet they haven't seen the film? Those reports are just wrong, uh, completely wrong, actually. As I said, we offered it to him a number of times and, and, and he declined the offer and it's a standing invitation. As a uh, former consultant, political consultant of Wiener, you must have, uh, you must know other people in his team. Have you heard anything at all from them through your back channel about what they think about your movie or what they thought about the movie, if 
if they've heard from other third parties that have seen the movie? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. I haven't actually heard um, from folks uh, in the campaign yet. I mean, we, we're just the film is just now coming to yeah. festivals and hasn't yet been released. So I'm sure we'll hear a lot more once the film is released in theaters at the end of May. What is Anthony Weiner up to now? He is, as you saw in the film, um, he is. There's a couple of clips at the very end of the film where you see him on talk shows. So he's a, a pundit on a local New York. Uh, talk uh, show called New York One. He appears periodically uh, as a political pundit, and um, he does some consulting work. Um, and he's also uh, taking uh, taking a large role in raising his son. So Huma, working for Hillary now, is obviously doing a lot of traveling as the vice chair of the campaign. And so uh, Anthony is is uh, playing a big role in in raising their son Jordan. Talk to us about that little kid at the end. I mean, that was insane. That little kid, he was acting, you know. I mean, I just, it, it was, it was so different from everything else that we had seen in this film because this little kid, you think, oh my God, oh my God, mom, do you know who this is? And there was like a fanboy moment there. And this is this young kid. He's probably all of 10 years old, I think, but he was, he seemed to be so aware of it. How did you find him? Well, you know, one of the great things about doing a documentary, and especially a verite documentary, is that you capture things and you just and things just happen. And Josh was there, following Anthony throughout the entire campaign, and caught this moment. and um, And it's it's a it's a great moment, and it, it has a lot of different levels and layers to say. and uh, And I think that um, it also was you know a very I think a very sweet moment with Anthony and his his understanding of the kid and and we wanted to sort of end on that moment what is your relationship with Weiner now we haven't been in touch in a few months um like I said I, I offered to show him the film and and he um has not wanted to see it yet I'm sure he'll see it at some point and um and I'm looking forward to hearing what he thinks do you think you'll ever go back to politics or you'd continue with films I'm really enjoying filmmaking um and so I imagine that I mean I certainly want to keep doing it Elise and I have really uh, enjoyed working together as a directing team and uh, we're excited for future projects talk to us about your future projects I know one of the projects that you worked on was on Saddam Hussein and then you mentioned the Texas prisons what are some of the projects that you have in your pipeline because as filmmakers you constantly have to have projects in your back burner or you know in some kind of a infant stage yeah I mean Josh and I do have another project it's exciting unfortunately we can't talk about it right now um, but um, you know we're we're thinking about our next film and um, and 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 as as you know, I've worked on various other films, and we're we're excited for the next one. Any final thoughts about the movie itself? You must have uh, watched the audience watch this film in different festivals. Uh, what was the impression that you got from the audience reaction? One of the things we absolutely love about the audience reaction to the film is that is just is the range of reactions. So people walk away from this film um, feeling uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, and having all kinds of different opinions. Well, I mean, whether, you know, we often find people after the film who are arguing that, you know, whether one person likes Anthony and thinks um, positively about him, another person maybe thinks more negatively, but there's, there's just this, this uh, it's, it seems to be very thought provoking, um, which is what we always intended was we, we didn't want to provide simple or easy answers to a complex person or a complex story. We wanted to really give people an opportunity to see uh, how nuanced it really is. At the editing table, who called the shots of what goes into the <laughs> into the movie? Josh and I are are uh, our directing team. We're, we're equal. We're, always exactly we're equal. equal. <laughs> we're <laughs> equal. No. Yeah, we're equal. We're we're both directors. We both, um, you know, filmmaking is a very collaborative meeting uh, medium, and you know, Josh and I, while we share some some sensibilities, we also have difference of opinions. But I think that uh, those differences make the film stronger. Um, and we have a healthy discussion, but we both make decisions, you know, as a group. Yeah. Sometimes one is stronger than the other, but it's nice to know that both of you had equal footing. Any final concluding thoughts about the film and uh, coming here to San Francisco? Uh, no, other than the fact that we're very excited to be here and to be at the festival. Um, it's, it's, it's been great. Yeah, we're very excited, and um, I think we're going to be in theaters in San Francisco on May 27th. Thank you so much, both of you, for talking to me. Thank you. Thanks so much. 
You can download this and other podcasts from our website or iTunes. You can watch our TV interviews on our YouTube channel. I'm on Twitter. And if you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please send us an email. And as always, thank you for tuning in.